wako gakunga Asante sana mwenzangu Ken Gashuhi kutoka kaunti hiyo ya Baringo na bila shaka semi za wanawake hao ni zina, zina zi, ni semi ambazo zinampa imani na matumaini mwanamke haswa yule wa maeneo ya vijijini. Kwingineko waziri wa kilimo Mithika Linturi yuko katika eneo la Kapseret na baadaye kuzuru maonesho ya kilimo mjini Eldoret Mithika anatarajiwa kuangazia maswala ya uhaba wa mbolea pamoja na ufugaji ama kilimo cha maziwa Elvis Kosgei ameandaa taarifa ifuatayo na hebu tuipate kwa sasa Naam tunajia katika eneo bunge la Kapseret kaunti ya Osingishu ambapo waziri wa kilimo Mithika Linturi amefika hapa kwenye shughuli ya maonesho ya kilimo lakini hali kadhalika amefika kwenye shamba hili la mheshimiwa Oscar Sudi kutathmini jinsi ukulima wa maziwa unapoendelea katika kaunti hii ya Osingishu na eneo zima la kaskazini mwa bonde la Ufa. Asante sana bwana waziri najua kwamba hii safari yako ya kwanza kuja katika eneo la kaskazini mwa bonde la Ufa lakini leo mbona uko hapa Kapseret? Leo nimefika hapa kwa Sindikishu County saa kuweza kuwasiliana na wakulima katika maonyesho ya ukulima ya Eldoret National Show. Na kabla ya kufika kwa kiwanja kama ilivyo desturi yangu mimi nikienda nje ya Nairobi huwa natembeleanga mkulima ili kuweza kujua mashinda yale wakulima wanayo na ili niweze kujua ni vipi tunaweza kushirikiana na wakulima kuweza kuwasaidia. Kwa hivyo mimi niko na furaha sana kutembea katika shamba ili la mheshimiwa Sundi ili kuweza kunjionea vile anatekeleza mambo ya ukulima wa ndere and i want to say without uh, really any bias mheshimiwa Sundi is a true example of a good leader that is leading by example na shamba hili lake ni shamba ambapo atu asia kushalisha masiwa kwake lakini ni shamba ambao wakulima wote wanaweza kutembea na kunjionea vile ukulima wa masiwa ama wa ngombe unavyoendelea. Kwa hivyo ningeomba wakulima wote ama wa viongozi wote katika nyanja mbalimbali mbali, kutoka kwa MCA mpaka kule kwa rais sisi zote tunjumuike pamoja kusaidiana na kulindi by example ili wakulima ama wa Kenya wale tunawaambia kilimo ndiyo kitaweza kubadilisha maisha ya wa Kenya na kuongezea kasi katika taifa waweze kunjionea wao wenyewe sababu viongozi wako mbele kwa huo mustari na pia ndiyo itaweza kutusaidia pia kuhakikisha tumetimiza ili ile promise katika kwa ile plan ya Kenya kwanza because mnajua mambo ya ukulima ni pillar number one. number two, the ndere and um, beef and leather value chain is a key area that the Kenya Kwanza Manifesto is focused on and I think the example I am seeing here is very impressive and I would want to ask every leader and every citizen to em emulate Mweshimua Sundi because of the good job work that he's doing not only by representing the people of Kapsare in Mbunge but also by leading us by leading as an example because wakulima hapa ngombe wanaweza kupata mbrindi mzuri wakulima hapa wanaweza kuona vile ukulima wa ngombe unaweza kufanyika kwa kisasa okay. mwisho unajua kwamba unaelekea katika maonesho ya kilimo na maelfu ya wakulima tayari wanakungoja kusikia hotuba yako matarajio yao ni gani na unaopa hakikisho gani kwamba mbole itafika kwa wakati manake msimu upanzi umekaribia na mvua inakunya katika maeneo mbalimbali mwa nchi uh, matarajio matar, ya, matar, ya, ya wakulima kweli nafikiria na naweza kufikiria wanataka ninjibu swali kama tutaendelea na efficiency ile iliyoko ya kufikisha mbolea kwa wakulima na hiyo niko tayari na kunjibu na sababu tumesema na tumekubaliana na mangavana wa kaunti zote za Kenya kwa kila mtu atupatie eh, tan, eh, eh, the, katika wondi watupatie store moja pale sisi tutaweka kupeleka fertilizer ili mkulima asiweze kutembea pale distance mrefu kuweza kuokota fertilizers kwa hivyo fertilizer ni guarantee itafikia wakulima at the right time at the nearest possible place to for, ili waweze ku reduce ama ku reduce ngarama ya kuweza kutembea kuchukua fertilizer kingine najua of course wanangataka kujua ni mikakati gani tulio nayo ili kuhakikisha chakula chao akinjaribika kiko na uh, uh, kinanunuliwa na vile mnajua tumekuwa nimekuwa nikitembea nchi hii yote nikipeana na ki, uh, support ya serikali kwa 
kupeana dryers zile za kukausha mahindi ili siweze kuharibika na to reduce the post uh, harvest losses because we must really appreciate the effort ile wakulima wameweka katika kutusaidia kushalisha chakula sababu umuhimu wa maana ni sisi tuweze kushalisha chakula tulishe Kenya yetu na sababu sababu kilimo ni biashara tuweze pia kutumia nafasi hiyo kushalisha chakula cha kutosha kile tunaweza kuuza hata ngambo sababu itatuletea pesa za kigeni katika taifa letu labda ukimalizia waziri ni, ni kipi ambacho kilisababisha labda zile changamoto ambazo tulishuhudia katika kaunti ya Transzoia kuna wengine wanasema kwamba serikali labda ilikuwa imekamilisha uh, mambo ya ogizaji wa mbolea lakini transporters wakaleta uchelewishaji je kwa kufikia sasa mbolea kiasi gani imesambazwa huko nchini unajua wakulima sasa wamejitokeza na wameongezeka pia sababu wameona government means what it is kwa hivyo the uptick ya fertilizer iko speed kuliko ya vile tulikuwa tumefikisha na sasa sababu tulimi mambo tumeyasikia tum, we have pulled our socks down and uh, ni kandrasi ya kusupply fertilizer ni kasi ambayo tulimaliza na nayo kutoka mwezi wa december so sahi kila mtu yule anapeleana fertilizer na ni notice na mpatia we will not accept lesser suppliers people that cannot meet the deadlines na nimewaambia nipatie shendu ya supplies sawa kufikisha kule tumesemea by by end of by 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 monday so that we do not inconvenience our farmers and so that we are able to give them the right message ili wakulima wanjipange secondly tumetuma vouchers kwa because the fertilizer redemption system ni ya kutumia vouchers because we are dealing with the farmers that we have registered and that we know so kama kuna wakulima wanjapata na kumeanza kunyesha let me also no and i want to appreciate the media for what we are doing because it is through you people that i'm able to know what is happening because without that information i cannot be able to act so whatever information that has come to my attention i have addressed it na huko tunazoia sasa fertilizer imefika Asante. Asante sana ndio waziri wa kilimo Mithika Linturi ambaye yupo katika kaunti hii ya Wasingishu kwenye shughuli ya maonesho ya kilimo ambayo ndio imefikia kilele alikadhalika halizuru shamba la mbunga Capsaretos Kasudi kutathmini jinsi mifugo wanavyofanya kazi na vile vile lishe na maziwa na hata hivyo akatoa hakikisho kwamba kwa kulima maziwa kwamba serikali ina nia na malengo ya kuboresha kilimo cha maziwa. Toka kwangu Elvis Kosgei kutoka katika eneo la Capsaret na urejeshea pale studio.